Hi everyone, and welcome to my first gameplay video playing right now Reckless Rampage. Uh, here I am just on Telashar, just about to verse a Dramai. Here is my deck, I'm running 63 cards, just taking out the d Reacts and the Arg Smash. Obviously this is just the deck I talked to in Nationals recently and the PTI event here in Melbourne. Um, just running normal scabbies, scaling, and tunic and gloves. Let's see how we go. Uh, we have managed to get first as well, so realistically we just want to try get something good in our arsenal. Ooh, interesting first hand. Here I'm probably just going to do... Hmm. Might just do the Mandible Claw, pitching my remembrance to get that to come back around later in the game. We'll put the Smash Instinct in our arsenal. It's obviously pretty good to keep in hand somewhat early because if they put out a dragon on their first turn, I can pop it. Um, and we can get ourselves five cards in our hand. Normally we want like a blood rush turn following that, but we'll see what happens. There's our second card we like to on hit the dragons, Cadaverous Contraband. A little bit early for us to have at the moment, and I've drawn into three blues, which is a lot early. And they've blocked with Kyloria so far. Quite interesting having the Seeker's leggings. I have seen it more on the hands of Seeker's arms. I must have an interesting hand taking a little bit of time. Wow, oh, invoke Dominio very early. That's crazy. Okay. I'm just gonna pop the. Well, I can't probably pop it. He's gonna take out my Cadaverous. Um, but the good thing is I can shoot it. So, really, the choice up to him whether he wants me to not. Might just take one damage and swing back with Pursuit. Yep, so I'll just block three. End up taking one and I'll just Pursuit the Dominion. That's not the worst. It's one of the big dragons gone. Pass priority, and I've got E strike here already. Here we'll just block with High Roller as well. Our other blues are a little bit more efficient for the game. High Roller is probably the worst blue in our deck for this matchup in particular. Pick up dinner can be quite useful later in the game um, if they start to deck us out a little bit. Mirror guy, so good thing we have the E-Strike here. Probably look to just to get rid of Mirror Guy as soon as possible, so we'll E-Strike Mirror Guy. Just let this one hit. And they're gonna E-Strike and 5 draw a card, I'm imagining. Oh wow, they're puffing power, no arsenal. Um, hmm. Honestly, here we might block with the. I don't think we'll get deck, so we'll block with Barraging Take 4 here. We'll kill Mirror Guy and swing for 7 at their face. Let's go E Strike for 5, go again. Mirror guy is about the biggest threat for us. We really want to get rid of it. We 
just so efficient at popping. It's just really worth it. Seven should be a good turn for us here too. They only have one Ash at the moment. No dragons on the field. We've got Tunic on three. Um, they can't really get a board state in the next turn unless they take the full seven. And at that point, the life total's pretty well the same. And I think it's a good position for us anyway. Crowning very early. Four blues already in my grave, which is kind of nuts. I'll probably draw into a four red hand soon. Now I've gone through five blues just here. Paper scene. Revenant Scrabble. Let's block three with Barraging here. We'll keep Reckless for later. Barraging. Um, they don't have a thing out at the moment, so this is more than okay to pop. I'm going to use Wrecker here just to, just to alleviate some pressure from life totals. They can't copy anything, so that's no issue. Uh, I'm just going to swing for 6 with Beast Within here. It's not a good card to Arsenal either. Damage itself seems like the best play. I haven't seen any power cards yet, like not even any attacks. Um, I guess E-Strike and Smash Instinct are just like those uh, trading cards, but maybe we want to sort of swing for 7, blocking 6 sort of thing, but no... Um... No pack hunts, no swing bigs, no blood rush. Just gonna have to play quite patiently in this matchup so far. Probably imagine they'll be in the next turn or two. We'll see one of those two, or we'll see two blood rushes. All right, I've revealed Enigma Chimera. We might take this and see what they do after. Awesome invoke Azulai. Swing Azulai, Azulai, I'll pop this. Beautiful. Now, double blood rush turns isn't something I'll normally go for, but I think... Hmm... I think we'll try it. Just because it's here at the moment and we've already put our Remembrance on the bottom. We probably want to shuffle the deck to get to it sooner though, because it's really close to the bottom right now. It's not bad. And um, hit the swing big on the blood rush in hand. Yeah, not gonna enigma chimera me after this. Might be a rake. Here we go. Okay. It's okay. We also have um. Two cadavers. Well, we have one cadavers here, one still on the bottom. Oh no, was this the one? No, it was the one, sorry. It's alright, we can blood rush here quite efficiently. Might actually tunic into this blood rush just because I can hit these two. Very good, we've got one float and we've hit it, so that's beautiful. Um. We're going to keep this Blood Rush for next turn now. Because we've got more than enough to pull off a full turn. And we've also got a Swing Big to leave in our hand as well. Pretty good turn. 20 damage. Start a Swing Big for next turn if discards go well. Five. 
Five. Part of me wants to get rid of the mirror guy, but I'm still gonna go directly at face at the moment. Attack them for ten. They block all of this, it's pretty rough at them. They're gonna pretty much have to take seven damage. Unless this is a sigil. They need the resource to... Unless they, they might have a dragon. They're gonna take the full thing. Alright. Not a gr it's not terrible, but I would rather have that blue in hand just for the blue pitch going into Blood Rush. Yep. Second second mirror guy. That's pretty fun. Actually probably should have scaling there. But that is okay. This actually, I might pop this and take out the other mirror guy. Be a bit more patient, wait for the tunic. Oh, Two, block and smash instinct, humble that. Um, it's a bit rough. All right, we'll go for the blood rush then. Then change his plans. I guess we have. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Yeah, and we just do this swing big. Might ask on the humble. Taking the five. Do swing big. Yeah, humble in the arsenal. Pretty in charge of this game at the moment. Um, didn't get optimal draws on that one, but that's okay. Still six more damage, unless they got a D react, they do. So they're gonna take two. They won't have another D-Reactor, they've just overblocked. No more Furnace, that's... Harsh. Alright, this is good. If we pop one of these, we can take both dragons out in one turn. Just E-Strike one and hit the other. Lori is an annoying one. Just gonna block with both my armors here. And we will pop this with a pack hunt. So we can command and conquer them. No, we can't, can we? It's okay. Yeah, so we'll just E strike. E strike claw, maybe. Actually, no, we'll E strike and we will humble because that'll, that'll sort of slow them up again. Let this go again. Get rid of Mirror Guy. 
think that's the third mirror guy. Yep, so no more mirror guys. Last thing they can do is passing now. Or humble at them for six. Pretty much forcing the block, or basically dragons don't get go again anyway. And they won't get uh, any ash. Very good spot for us right now. Three mirror guys going. There goes a rake. They're only blocking five. That will pretty much. Okay, that's interesting. Unless they just play passing mirage in pass. If I have a turn, that's enough here. Oh yeah, playing sigil. I can just pop this. Put the savage beast in my arsenal. I'll just extract them for seven. Pretty good. The power. At this point they can still take it, but I think we just have the momentum swing. Like the second draw a blow on a discard, that's going to be a 12 damage turn essentially, so... As long as the scab skins doesn't do double ones, <laughs> should be fine. Box 6, there goes a burn them all as well. Still only got one ash. Pummel Amnesia, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I might actually just pummel the Amnesia and have a turn off. Pummeling the Amnesia is pretty good here anyway. It's nine damage, but it'll just disrupt the turns. Um, Pummel's really good into Dramai, just they try to keep their hands as efficient as possible to be able to pull the most off, um, where they need a pitch to, uh, you know, flame scale or something, even though flame scale's gone, I understand, but it's probably a D react here is my guess in their hand. But yeah, this is gonna go over. Yep. So that three extra damage is gonna be pretty crucial. And the discard's gonna really hurt. It's very good for us. They can't do much with the one card hand, and that's a perfect hand for a Savage Face turn. So I got Tunic up. We just roll scabs and hope we get a 4, 5, 6. Um, no, I'm not going to risk it at this point. I'm just going to do Smash Instinct over pitching. Keep the, keep one of the pack hunts in my hand. Seven damage is still pretty good to present here. They're going to take it. We roll next turn and we roll decently with the blue. I think that's probably game. Oh yep, that is a perfect game ending hand right there. I don't think they can pull something off to basically make this game winnable for them anymore. Um, you know, even if they tumble tie or something, it's too late now. It's too late anyway. It's too late for sure. Uh, oh, okay. 
Poker Moyad as well. That's that's interesting. We're just gonna let this one hit because there's no point in blocking. And we have to hit the Tommel tie. It's probably gonna hit off the top. Yep. So they can get rid of either my Tunic or Scab Skins, which I'd imagine they're probably gonna go Scab Skins, but it's not a worry. Yep, so I'll pop it with the Wrecker Romp. And we'll go into our Blood Rush turn. Tunic actually would have been more brutal than just for this Blood Rush turn I'm having. The fact that I've only got a three card hand for this is pretty good. This is fine even with the pitch not being good. Sorry, the, uh, the attack's not being good. We can still have a full turn. This will still be eight damage. It won't have the intim, but that's more than fine. Still got plenty of gas in the deck. Um, still got Cadaverous. Still got Remembrance. Got plenty. Yep. So they got six block, and I'm going to present 13. Seven damage. It should be one over lethal. Should be one enough. Even if they have a D react, it's going to be exact. So this is game. Very good. Two and then eight. No intimidate, but it's all good. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, my first time putting a game up from Telesha. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay versus Dramai. Uh, please leave a like and um, subscribe if you like the content. I have something very special coming up soon with some games with some very special players. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers.